Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a follow-up video after the last video that I just posted where I talked about my favorite case for the Z Fold 3. So this is the case that I had also ordered. I got two of them from Samsung.com and this is the case that I'm not going to keep and I'll tell you why. So just to show you how it works and how it feels, it has a good feel to it. The grip on it is great. It is leather. So it's going to have a good grip to it. That part is it's nice and I also like that it the cameras are kind of like flushed in here. You can see it, but yeah, you can see it. This is all feeling pretty smooth. It's a slight one, but it's not really like worth mentioning. Like this lip actually comes above this lens a little bit. So it feels more flush. That part is nice for if you do have it sitting down, you know, it's not it's not well, actually it is a little bit like this here, but anyways. It doesn't have a noticeable one from here. And actually that's probably coming from this button actually, yeah, see? That's actually coming from this here, because here the camera you see looks nice and smooth. But here, when it comes to the kickstand part, that's the one. So it's, I ordered it because I wanted to have a kickstand and this tab here, if you want to actually use the kickstand, this is how you do it. This tab goes out to the side and then this lip actually lifts up and there's a magnet in here. So when you actually open the case, okay, you just bring that over and you can just connect the tab right there. So when you want to watch something, I don't like the phone there, you can stand it up like this. See? It's going to be sticking here. So if you want to watch something, it's great. Like I love this part. So as far as a kickstand, it gets the job done. It lets me watch whatever, and I'm hands-free, which is great. I can just have something playing up here, and I like this about it. I also like how premium it looks. Like, it just feels fancy. It feels like you're holding something expensive, and it's beautiful, and pulling it out just looks really stunning. But all of that fanciness goes out of the window as soon as you let the front cover fall. This is where it starts to fall apart. And I was really disappointed by this. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be the case and unfortunately it was. There's no magnet on the front cover to keep it steady, to keep it hooked onto the front of the display. So it just kind of flaps. Look at that, it just flaps and moves around really easily. And it just kind of really pulls away from the design for me. But I will say that overall, as far as protecting the phone, everything is pretty much covered. I mean, it looks nice and it does cover the front of the display to keep it protected like from scratches. All around the body is protected except for the volume up and down easy access there but as far as if you're worried about any it's like anything rubbing up against the front cover this flap this front cover does protect it there yes it slides around but it does cover that display completely and it even covers the hinge as well so for those looking for that kind of full protection you will have your hinge covered and everything covered on the phone. One thing I have to add is whenever you're trying to take pictures with this cover on too, I don't like it because it covers up whenever you have the cover screen preview turned on, the other person won't be able to see it because that flap is gonna fall over it. And if you actually flip the phone upside down, then that flap is going to fall over the camera portion of the uh, device. So I don't like that part about it either. Another thing that I wanna say is that if you're left-handed like me, then opening the device is going to make there be like excess over the side over the left hand side here like you see here and so it just kind of gets on my nerves not every screen is going to be able to be turned like it is right now so just keep in mind that when you do hold uh, like unfold the device it's going to have extra excess flap that's going to hang over the side for me that really bugged me for you it might not be such a big deal but it was a deal breaker for me Anyways, this was just a quick follow-up part two to the last video that I posted before I actually got my phone. Now that I have it, I really don't recommend this case to anybody, but hey, do whatever you like and get whichever one that's gonna fit you best. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.